hello everyone welcome back to acido's kitchen if this is the first time you are joining me you're most welcome to my returning subscribers thank you for joining me once again today i will be taking you through the steps of how i make mulabamia mafruka the ingredients for this dish are a kilo of lamb curry with bones a kilo of fresh okra one to two tablespoons of cooking oil, a medium onion, cumin powder, coriander powder, vegetable stock powder, garlic paste, dill paste, salt and pepper. Please look in the description box for exact measurements in case I don't mention it in the video. This dish does not require the onions to be fried so to start I will add the meat onion, one to two tablespoons of oil, and water into the pot. To this, I add black pepper, vegetable stock powder, coriander powder, and top it up with more water until the meat is fully covered. This water should be enough to cook the meat, but if needed, you can add more water later. Mix it all and cook this covered for 30 to 40 minutes or until the meat is tender. While the meat is going, I will start prepping the okra. I will cut it into the desired size and wash it before I cook it. I like to cook the okra separately and add it into the meat once it's ready because this makes it easier when blending. Now that the okra is all clean, I move the meat to the stove at the back and start cooking the okra. I put the okra in a pot then add hot water and allow it to boil until it is ready. Do not walk away from it as it may either burn or boil over. Keep on stirring it gently as it cooks. Don't let it overcook because if it overcooks it gets rid of the texture that we are looking for. Once the okra is soft enough and it starts breaking apart, then it is now ready. I now pour the okra into a plastic bowl where I blend it with a hand blender. You can blend it to your preferred consistency and keep it covered until it is ready to be combined with the meat. I like having my okra not too smooth and not too lumpy. Once the okra is done, I return the meat to the front stove and I add a teaspoon of dill paste, a tablespoon of garlic paste and a tablespoon of cumin powder, which was not captured in the video. Please add these into your meat at least 10 minutes before adding the okra. Once the okra is added, let it cook on medium to low heat for roughly 5 minutes to allow it to incorporate fully, then turn off the heat. Thank you. 
I will add a little bit of salt to boost the vegetable stock powder we used at the start. Add the salt to your preferred taste. I also add a bit of water as it is too thick. However, this depends on how you like it or what staple will accompany the stew. Once you are happy with the consistency, turn the heat off and it is now ready to serve. Try this dish and please let me know what you think in the comment section below. Kindly like, share and comment on this video. If you'd like to see more of this content, please subscribe and click on the notification bell so you do not miss any of my simple yet tasty recipes. This is it from me today. Thank you for watching and until next time, bye bye.